It's time for Wisdom 31. Welcome to Wisdom 31, day number one. Proverbs chapter one, verse three reads this way. To receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equality. Deal or no deal. Many of you remember the breakthrough game show of the early 2000s hosted by Howie Mandel called Deal or No Deal. The goal was to bet against the house dealer who would offer a dollar amount in exchange of you not taking a chance on winning more of his money concealed in a series of briefcases. With each round success, the amount offered to get you to stop playing would increase. However, with every unsuccessful round, the offer would decrease. The twist was that you could tag in the input of an outside resource that could dramatically increase the outcome. As we begin this fall semester of Wisdom 31, I have to ask you, how do you approach the day? Every day is an opportunity. It's an opportunity filled with highs and lows, mountains and valleys, good people and not so good people. And unlike the dealer on the popular game show, God, our creator, wants you to win. He wants you to win so much so that he has rigged the game by offering outside help called wisdom. Wisdom is not something any of us are born with. It's not inherited. Wisdom cannot be bought. Wisdom comes through two main sources, experience we personally go through and the experiences shared by others. Proverbs is called the wisdom book. Housed in these 31 chapters is time-tested knowledge that when stewarded to understanding, equips people regardless of their background, religious associations, age, sex, or the, the, the environment that they're in to seize the day to get the most out of and the best from the opportunities in front of them. As we journey together over the next 31 days, I invite you to read each chapter as a daily devotional. It will not take too long for you to do, but then highlight whatever part of the chapter speaks to you the most. Then choose to do something with it. Apply it, share it, and I guarantee that should you take me and my friends up on our offer, you will have grown in ways you could not imagine. Now, here are a couple of things you should know as we start. Read the corresponding day's chapter. So day one, chapter one. Highlight what speaks to you. Then share with your wisdom group. Ask three people to join you. That's your wisdom group. Watch the daily videos that I and my friends share and our scripture devotion for that day, and then figure out what your takeaway is. Here's the last thing. Consider sowing $31 at some point before the journey is over if you find that this is a blessing, as it will ultimately end up helping us do more with this tool down the road in helping others grow. Do I have a deal? or no deal. Come on with me and my friends and let's journey together and be wise.